What's up guys, it's Lord Saint and welcome back to my channel. And now you can see we're in a, a bit of a different setting here and we have some different plants than usual. I redid my garage and I made it my office. I've mentioned in previous videos so far that the wife and I are, are expecting a little baby boy and it's probably gonna be here in about two and a half months. Uh, so I redid the garage and made it my new office space and made it a space where I could talk to you guys here on this channel so i hope you enjoy the background you can see a little bit of miles morales over here uh in the corner so enjoy that with me if you will. today we're gonna just start on a we'll call it a series a series of anthurium um, i'm just gonna talk to you about my experience with anthurium where i'm at in my anthurium journey and some of my favorite anthurium at the moment and we're we're gonna do tons of videos you only see three here i'm only gonna talk about three being that it's the first video and as I find more time <laughs> in my schedule I uh, will start doing a lot more. I'll start with the first anthurium that I acquired out of the bunch here and it's one of the first really in my collection. Let's go back a little bit how I got started with the anthurium. Um, you guys may know me more so for my love for philodendron. It really is how I started my plant journey. Um, I was any and everything philodendron and slowly, I don't know what clicked, uh, but I just started getting into anthurium and I think it was dark anthurium that really triggered it for me and uh, since then I've, I've acquired some dark anthurium but I've been on this amazing incredible journey of just having anthurium and trying out my own mixes. You know, I love to go online and, and look at other growers. Uh, you know, on Instagram and here on YouTube to see what substrates they're using. But I know I'm growing in a different climate. I'm growing both indoors in a patio and outdoors. Uh, so I figured it's, a, it's good. It's always good to experiment with your own collection and see what really works for you. Uh, just because one thing works for somebody else doesn't mean that's the only way or the, you know, the only mix you can use for your anthurium. And there's people that grow, you know, their anthurium in several different types of substrate. Uh, and we'll talk about in the next video what I have found. It's it's so many different. It's such a cocktail of different uh, materials that I had lying around the house, but it seems to be working. My Ethereum are really enjoying it right now. And these three are just prime examples of recent changes that I've made to the, to the substrate. And when I say recent, I'm talking in the last few months or late last year and where they're at now. So kind of an OG in my collection, which is been on a roller coaster with me this plant has been through the ups and downs i thought it was dead then it came back then it was outside in florida heat last summer kind of nuked it and then it came back when i brought it inside and changed the substrate up uh, but it's the forgetty eye it's the anthurium forgetty eye and this is if you're growing your plants from small and i've mentioned them in my reels and my previous videos that i love buying my plants as seedlings or or small uh, cuttings uh, because I enjoy the process of growing them. So this Forgetti I, I've had, I can't tell you for how long. It's been in my collection. I, I know you're looking at it, you're like, no way. Easily has to be three years. When I say ups and downs, we've been through some ups and downs. I'm talking bare, chunk, nothing left. Oh my God, I killed it. Uh, to now what you see here and you can see some of the older leaves that it sports right here you know kind of crinkled and I, I just let those be and then as it started to size up this is the most recent and this is this leaf back here is still growing so the expectation is it's going to be larger than this leaf right here and this is the most recent leaf but I'm just so proud of this you can see it next to me I'm, I'm proud of the size uh, that I've been able to achieve with this plant and I'm in love with the texture, the bumpy, uh, and, and I feel like, you know, for, for Getty, I generally, I feel like it, it does have a darker tone to it, and I love that. I love the velvety, dark tone, and, you know, obviously we have the sinus, which for Getty has known for. And then we have this beautiful inflow that this evening, I was, as I was walk, walking out, and I was bringing it out to show you guys, I actually tried 
and we'll talk about this one. I tried to do a, a little thing with them. So we'll see if it's successful and you'll see these tags that I use and I'm starting to have them on a lot of my Ethereum because as I'm going, I'm seeing flowers or inflows and I'm deciding, you know what, let's see, let's try these crosses. So this is my Forgetti app and I am very proud of it. And the mix that it's in, it's just doing really well. I finally found a sweet spot for it. We'll see what happens this summer because summer's in South Florida, which is where I am. It's where I live, it's where I grow, they get brutally hot. So I'm hoping uh, in the patio this summer, uh, this will do a lot better than it did last summer. And in this mix, obviously I'm gonna keep the plants moist and then I have fans in the patio just to, you know, for good airflow. And hopefully the heat isn't overbearing on a lot of these plants. So that's my Forgetti eye. And you know, that, that I don't think this plant gets enough love for how just beautiful it is. I really like it. It's a, it's an OG. Like, like I said, I started my collection with it. And if you don't have it and you're trying to figure out where to start, try to look for a Forgetti eye. They're one of the anthuriums that aren't too fussy. Once they're happy, they're happy. They're just gonna grow for you, as you see here. So get your hands on a Forgetti eye if you don't have one. But this is one of my favorites at the moment. And you can just see my hand for comparison, what it's doing there. Now you've seen this plant before. If you've been part of my channel, my online personality family, if you go back and look at uh, my import videos, this plant is an import. And it's the, I kind of had, again, roller coasters trying different things with my imports. Now they're all on the up and up now that I've, again, found a sweet spot. And I know you're probably thinking, what's the mix? I'm going to tell you guys next week what the mix that I am using that works for me inside and in my patio area. And this is the Pappy X1, all right? This is Pap X1. And I just, it's recently, this is the most recent leaf that's really just kind of taken me in. And this leaf hasn't hardened off yet. And you can see it here and it's just beautiful. It really is. The, the seedlings I got were tiny little things. And this is the first one to really start to size up this way. It's the first one that I kind of got right and it's doing its own thing and it's happy. But this PAP X1 from Indonesia, I just love it. I really do. PAP, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of PAP. Whenever I can get my hand on a hybrid or anything, you know, a pure, pure PAP, I, I don't, definitely don't have enough pure PAP. But when I get my hands on hybrids, I get really excited because I just love the leaf, the, the characteristics of it, the shape of the leaves. It does something for me. Uh, so if you like PAP, the PAP X1, I actually will have, I think I have about 10 of these, including this one. So this one being one of my stronger ones is probably gonna stay in my collection and I may select another one as they start to size up. And then the remainder are gonna be for sale. But PAP X1, I love it. If you don't have it, it's a popular one and it's an Indonesian hybrid and I just love it, it's great. Now this one is an interesting one for my collection. And you've, if you follow me on Instagram, I've posted about it before. I've talked about it in several reels, but this is just, I, I really do love it. And it's such a unique plant. Now it was sold to me from my importer as a Indonesian Drusleri. And obviously it doesn't have the characteristics of a Drusleri, but it's some type of no ID hybrid. Um, no ID hybrid. And I'm 100% fine with that. I'm not one of those folks that Oh my God, I need to know exactly if the plant is beautiful. If I'm getting foliage with amazing characteristics and I'm like, that just looks great. I'm going for it, full send. I'm not so concerned with, oh, well, who's the seller and who's that? And you know, give me the origins. I'm at the stage right now, which is the very beginning where I'm just like, oh, this looks great. And I get excited because now I'm starting to try to create different hybrids with it. I have a tag here with a mag and then I have uh, another uh, with the self, so I kind of did a thing with both of those with pollen from both. We'll see what what took. I don't know. Um, this one's just kind of a fun creation. If I can get it to self, I'll be really excited because I really, really, really love how this plant looks. And everybody, when they see it, they kind of ask me, uh, like, hey, what's it? And I'm like, it's no idea. I have no idea. But I can tell you, as this grows and the foliage gets even bigger, it's just going to become one stunning. Um, plant. It already is a stunning plant. I'm 
Again, I'm obsessive with it. It's one of my favorites and it's a no ID. And I really don't mind that. So those are the three plants we're gonna start with today. I know, I promised you guys that I was gonna be here and the videos were gonna start coming, you know, weekly or bi-weekly. And again, um, with the kid on the way, we've just been busy. I've been busy building this, uh, which my garage is almost done. It's just a few more improvements, AC units and, and all that good stuff for temperature control in here. Uh, but I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited to show you guys uh, my Anthurium because I'm, I'm rather new to the Anthurium world, but I do have friends in what I consider high places and I'm getting a lot of beautiful babies from them and I can't wait to show you guys what Lord Saint is doing with his Anthurium. So thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you enjoyed the beginning of my Anthurium collection. There are going to be a lot more videos to come. Again, for Getty Eye, uh, PAP X1, and I just call this a no ID, an Indo no ID, um, but sold to me as uh, Indo Trisleri, clearly. I don't think it has any real ties to the Trisleri that we know. But regardless, I'm a huge fan of it because it's beautiful. So next week, we're going to talk about the mix that I'm using. And I'm going to show you guys my new hybrid. I'll show you the baby seedlings that I have so far. I'll show you one of the variegated seedlings and I'll show you the mom and dad plant that are kind of responsible for, for it all. And I'm excited to talk about that because who isn't excited to talk about what they're creating at the time, right? You're cre if you're not integrating your own hybrids yet, it is absolutely, once you figure it out, it's so easy and it's super fun. And I, th I think it's very rewarding when you have a batch, a successful batch of seedlings, and they really start to take uh, characteristics or traits from each mother or, you know, papa plant, and you get to really pick and select and then trade and, and really grow your co collection that way. It's very exciting to me. So again, I appreciate you guys joining me this evening. We will do an office tour soon. As soon as I get this all figured out, I still have things. You, you can't see the background right now, but I still have kind of things everywhere. The only portion that's done is what's behind me, which is my desk and my workstation really. And I have a few cabinets and you can see some plants up here in front of my Miles Morales poster. And that's all we have this evening. Thank you for joining me. If you have any comments, tips, anything that you'd like to tell me to assist me in getting better, or if you just enjoyed this video, drop a comment below. Uh, tell me if you have these plants or what your favorite anthurium are at this time. If you're new to the channel and this is the first video you're watching, feel free to subscribe. Check out the previous videos. It's Lord Saint. Have a good night.